Hey guys, Matt here, Home Farm Ideas. And today I'm gonna switch this out to my new 3D printed uh, four inch sock filter holder. Um, you guys can see the last video I did on this right up here on the card section. Um, so today I'm just gonna be changing it out. Uh, I had to figure out basically how I was gonna attach to the bucket. I'm thinking next time I, I um, print one out, I'm gonna print one that fits the diameter of the bucket. That way I can just clip them to any bucket. And then if you guys wanna download them, obviously you can uh, check the link in my description um, for this. I put it on Thingiverse. So um, already it's getting downloads like crazy. Um, and that's the square version, but I'll end up uh, doing a circular version as well. So this is the reason right here why I'm switching it out. If you can see the water, like that's, it looks like it's full of poop, but it's not. It's almost all water in there. And on this side, it's actually spilling out. See how there's water over there on the bucket? The water is actually just coming down into there, coming right back up and spilling out, okay? That's a no-go. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna filter out solids the way I want it to. So, uh, I'm gonna pull that off and I'm gonna do that right now just so you guys can see. I clip it to this to hold it on there. Okay, now look. I don't know if you guys can see down in there. That's almost all water and obviously snails. So we're gonna empty out all the water. Okay. See, it's hollow. Other than the snails. All that poop and stuff gets caught on the outside of it. So I want this to build up over time. The, the waste, the solids, I want it to build up over time. So I need to sp split that flow and uh, have it going into more than one four inch sock. Uh, this one, the microns on it are not very small as well. So, um, and I did that because I was trying to get water to flow through it. So this is not working. So I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna attach my new uh, 3D printed four inch sock filter holder <laughs> uh, to that bucket and then we're gonna put it in. Uh, and so let's do that now. All right, let's start by getting this bucket out. So not too difficult, obviously. <laughs> and see, there's just growth, or there's just pads and stuff in there. Um, so, and they taper down too. So you have the larger hole ones, the green stuff, right? And then you have, it just tapers down to a smaller and smaller or finer and finer. So let's go ahead and put that new sock filter on this. All right, I got all the stuff out of it, and now um, I just wanted to point out a couple things in the bucket. Obviously, you're going to need to have holes in the bottom of your bucket. That way they drain, and so I have holes all the way around it, okay? <coughs> See all the holes on the outside here, all right? And obviously, that's for the water to go into the socks and then out of the holes and back into the sump tank. Uh, one thing I'm gonna do differently next time if I print off a square so uh, sock holder um, is I'm going to, uh, uh, instead of drilling them out because I forgot to put something to where I can attach it to the bucket. So next time I'm going to just print the holes for the twisty ties if I print another square one, which I doubt I'm going to. I'm probably just gonna print one that fits directly to the bucket. Um, if you guys think that's a good idea, let me know in the um, in the uh, poll there. So, but anyways, I'm gonna attach this to the bucket now. Uh, I did pre-drill holes for the twisty ties as well, as you can see one right there, and there's four of them, obviously. So, let's get it attached. I did put uh, UV resistant resistant twisty ties. So we'll see how that goes. Obviously the sun is gonna affect this, but it's not gonna affect mine too much because I have it covered uh, normally. So the area that's uncovered right now that I pulled this out of, uh, it's only uncovered because of the video. So let's go ahead and let's pop our socks in there. And I can get finer and finer um, socks as well because these generally speaking these rings 
are pretty much the same thing or the same size excuse me so um, these are these are off those two are the smaller ones and then the two other ones I have they're all supposed to be the same size but I have to push these two in and it's not I checked the uh, diameter of my um, of my holes here and it's not that like the the measurements on that is good so they're all the same basically it's it's these rings on the other ones are loose I mean are um, smaller than these two that I'm putting in now all right so I just cranked up my filtration of solids a whole lot um, on the bottom of the bucket I took out all the pads and everything so I don't need them I don't think anymore so with that said let's check this out let's see how this goes I did want to mention one more thing this is the reason why if you didn't catch it in the video I want to remove all these solids from my uh, aquatic plant tank or my aquatic growing area and I have a lot of solids that build up in here in my grow beds I'm not too concerned about but here I am because I don't want to send this to people I want to send them clean plants and uh, that's what I want to do so I want to remove these solids and then I don't want to clog up all my other uh, stuff in here like my Dutch buckets or my towers the little tubes so uh, that's why I'm doing this and also this is part of the whole staging okay so the water comes in through this pipe here and then goes into my swirl filter it pushes it down that way okay the water goes down it has to go down okay I might be adding 3d printed parts to this as well to try to get that really dialed in but it swirls down comes up and then goes down through that pipe and then down into the sun and then that is the water flow so let's go ahead and pop this sucker in finally three D printed, and I use a stick to hold it up. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have to adjust this just a little bit, and then we'll see how that how that does. It's separating out. I mean, the water flow is still large and in charge, obviously, but um, it's going into all those sock filters. It has to go through them which means any of the solids are gonna be building up on all four. Now, let's say one of them fills up. The water has to come out of that and into one of the other ones, okay? So this should really help me with uh, separating out solids. So I could build something bigger, you know, six, nine, whatever I wanna do, because I have a 3D printer that can do this stuff. Uh, and the surface area of the 3D printer, I think it's like, 300 by Y and 300 by X. I think it's 310 actually. So millimeters. So it's pretty sizable uh, prints that I can do. And then if I wanted to, I can cut them up and then set them up to where I can click them together and create something really big. So anyways, we'll see how this goes. Now, if you want this, you can go to my Thingiverse account, which I already mentioned in the beginning of this video, and you can download it for free. Okay, you, all you gotta do is have a 3D printer. Uh, if you want me to print you this, I can print you it, you know, but I'm gonna charge you for it just because it's a lot of work, you know. Um, not a lot of work, it's a lot of waiting. So I have to print it and then I have to use the PLA, you know, plastics and stuff. Uh, PLA, and I know that's probably gonna get bought up, brought up, PLA is basically um, so-called a safer plastic. The reason why is because it's made with sugars. Um, so anyways. So that's how it's working so far. I'm gonna do minor adjustments obviously to it to uh, kind of get the water separating out as best I can, okay? But it goes through those, down through the soft filters, and then out the bottom. So uh, hopefully you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, obviously put them in the comment section below. I actually read all your guys' comments and I always, um, I always, say something back you know so um please you know anything post it below and we can chit chat about this um i think that's it so god bless you guys join me on instagram all the links in the description below to my other channels as well and uh thank you guys so much all right god bless and like always peace